Hello and hi, welcome to this special segment. Joining me now is the working president of the BRS party and also the minister in the Telangana government, Mr. K.T. Rama Rao. Sir, thank you for speaking to India today. We have started with the nominations already this today. What's the mood in your camp? I see your body language quite relaxed, you're calm, you're composed. It's uncertain, un unlikely that a neta is this calm during the election no, campaign. No. See, we've always been this calm because, you know, we've calm kiya. So, then we calm to <laughs> The thing is, we have delivered in the last nine and a half years, we've done well, and the people know it. So therefore, we are quite confident, and uh, we believe that uh, a third term, the people will also bless us like they have in the last two terms. If someone watching the pol Telangana politics, they need to understand a lot of algebra, I feel. Who is A team? Who is B team? Who is C team? The BJP is alleging that you are B team of Congress. You are saying Congress and BJP are together. The Congress is saying you and BJP are together. What is this matrix in Telangana, sir? No, I don't know about others, but we are just with the people. Our alliance is with the people. Our loyalties are with the people. Our affiliation is with the people of Telangana. And uh, no matter what Congress and BJP would like to believe, they've tried this in the past and they've failed. This time as well, they'll try again, they'll fail again. So we really do not give credence to what they would like to uh, say or you know what they would like to resort to in terms of name calling. We'll just stay steadfast on our uh, ch our course and will not uh, will not deviate from it. But how do you target the statements from the prime minister? How do you see the statements from the prime minister? Because from the highest authority is saying, sitting in the chair, that BR said, "Come to me for an alliance with NDA." In fact, a step further that Mr. KCR said, KTR would be the next chief minister. Need your guidance. See, the thing is, I'll only say one thing: in Telangana, the BJP is out of the race. Yeah. So no matter what the Prime Minister or Home Minister would like to say and believe in uh, trying to kind of uh, outsmart anybody in the state, people are smarter than them and uh, they will show BJP that uh, last time BJP got one seat. Mila tha. This time I don't think they'll even get that one seat. So I'm confident that BJP and their allegations coming all the way from Prime Minister and Home Minister will be rejected by the people. Do you see the same notion in Lok Sabha or that people would still go with BRS even in Lok Sabha because last time they had won four seats and Congress had won three seats? Uh, we are in the middle of a cricket season, so the first ball, the ugly ball is what we should play. So the ugly ball is assembly. We will talk about parliament. Ke mein baat when we speak to the Congress, they say that this time we have got a professional service done, unlike last time. They are quoting that BJP uh, would be around single digit, Congress would go up to 70. BRS would be somewhere around 30. Of course. How do you see this? Of course, you're also taking inputs from your own team on the ground. Thing is, what, see, do, what does your seat combination look like? What, what do you expect Congress to say? I mean, do you expect them to say that they're going to lose this election? Going into an election, every party will say that. I will say the same. They'll say the same thing. But Congress, I, let me remind you of history as well, has never crossed 55 seats in Telangana in the last 40 years. Because Congress, traditionally, this has been their weak uh, weak hold, weak area, and Congress has traditionally never been, uh, you know, a party that could cross the magic figure on its own. So therefore, I don't see that changing at all, because what is new in Congress? In fact, if anything, Congress has uh, kind of uh, gone down uh, in, the, in the minds of the people. That's what I would believe. They are upbeat with the guarantees. They are saying it has worked in Karnataka, it has worked in Himachal, they are bringing it here. It's Congress guarantees versus BJP, uh, BRS's manifesto. You've already implemented Raita Bandhu and other schemes as well. Is it the election for welfare or is it the election for Mr. KCR's uh, face? No, I think it's election for continuity, election for uh, uh, basically good governance. If you look at uh, what we've achieved in the last nine and a half years, it is nothing short of astounding because our per capita today is the highest in the country, you know, from 1,14,000 in 2014 to 3,17,000 now, I think it is the highest in the country and I believe that uh, the only way ahead for us is basically to ensure that this growth momentum continues, the development activity continues. Yes. And uh, I, I, I firmly believe that people will not take any risk with a party like Congress, which they have tried 11 times in the past and uh, which has been a huge uh, letdown and a failure. Congress, Rahul Gandhi, in fact, was campaigning here for the last three days, as speaking of Kaleshwaram project. In fact, that's been your blue-eyed project, pet project of BRS government. They're saying BRS government and the family of Mr. KCR has 
taken corruption or kickback from it, and he's gone and visited the barrage, uh, saying that, look at the low quality of construction. How do you see this when they are making the issue? Well, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, unfortunately, you know, his intellectual capabilities are quite limited. He talks about a one lakh crore corruption in an 80,000 crore project. Now, what more do I say about this man? That is the reason why he's called uh, Papuji, because, you know, he basically his comprehension is limited. And uh, I don't think uh, he'll understand the scale or the magnitude of this project, because this is a project, this is a project single-handedly. That single-handedly made Telangana the number one paddy producer in the country, crossing Punjab and Haryana. What the Congress party could not do in 55 years in terms of providing water to our barren fields, KCR Garu has done in the last five years. So Rahul Gandhiji obviously needs to take lessons from engineers and understand exactly what the project is. It is the world's largest lift irrigation project, which irrigates 45 lakh acres of land. If there was no Kaleshwaram, Mr. Rahul Gandhi should tell the people of Telangana how Telangana's paddy production has grown from 68 lakh metric tons to three and a half crore metric tons. See, no matter what Rahul ji or his team would like to believe, fact is, at this point in time, we are looking at a green revolution being un un unleashed in Telangana. That is primarily thanks to Kaleshwar. In fact, uh, you called Rahul Gandhi uh, India Papu and the Telangana Papu. I didn't call him. In fact, his TPCC president called him Mudda Papu, which means a solid, rock-solid Papu. Uh, just as we speak, Mr. Revanth Reddy has spoken to the media saying, yes, I agree that I'm a Papu. I'm a Kodangal Papu, which is healthy for people. And Mr. KTR is up. Yeah, I don't talk about third-rate criminals and what they have to say. I really don't care about that gentleman. So, and uh, as we speak, another report has come from the central government on the Kaleshwaram project. They're saying that after the preliminary inspection, the pillars have sunk. There seems to be maintenance issue. Probably. I mean, see, ultimately, if there are technical glitches, they will certainly, they're entitled as engineers to give their opinion and uh, will certainly, I think, I'm sure... The concerned people here, the engineers here will respond to that because they are the ones you know, who will, res will have to respond on technical issues. So yeah, let's await what, what the report says, what it actually contains, and then we'll respond. In your uh, public speech, you had spoken about how there's polarization in this country. As a father, as a relative to children, you had said that there would be some fear growing up for children in this country in future. No, I am fearful for a lot of children in this country, not just for my children, but for many children in this country, because this sort of extreme, um, you know, disharmony that is being created by way of polarization is not going to help India at large. I mean, for politics can remain, elections come and go, but the fact is India needs to get its act together. If we really want to be a first world country by 2047, we have to ensure that we carry everybody. And for silly politics and for, some, for the sake of some seats, this kind of bigotry, which kind of challenges uh, you know, India's position in the world, should not be tolerated by any sane Indian. In fact, uh, we hear that Mr. Yogi wants to camp in Hyderabad for a week or so and address rallies here. Uh, do you think I, the BJP I, is trying to polarize the voters in Hyderabad? As of course well? they are. I mean, that is their specialty. That's exactly what they try to do. The people are smarter than the entire BJP combined because they had campaigned last time as well. All they could get was one seat. This time I'm guessing that they'll not even get that. Uh, OEC ji ne kaha hai ki Rahul mujhe nafrat kyu karte? Topi wale aur daadi wale se nafrat kyu hai? Agar taakat hai to aake Hyderabad mein lad. Challenge bhi diya hai. Abhi aap baat to ho gai ho OIC sahab ke beech mein aur Rahul ji ke beech mein. Mein kya bolu yaar? No, because he, <laughs> he keeps saying that KCR should be the chief minister of uh, Telangana. See, I'm thankful to Mr. OIC for saying uh, that uh, KCRG should continue as chief minister because I believe in the same thing as well. Now, what he says in regards to Rahul Gandhi is none of my business because that's between the two of them. Uh, how do you see the minorities voting this time, sir? Because... Uh, uh, OAC, of course, has been saying that wherever we are standing, fight, uh, vote for us, and wherever KCR, Mr. KCR party is fighting, go for it because of development. While the Congress is saying, look what we have done in Karnataka and other states, we will protect your interests. Yeah, they've done squat in Karnataka, you know, because if you look at what's happening in Karnataka, it's five hours of power, massive power outages, industries being shut down in Bellari, the jeans capital, as it was called. Likewise, farming sector under severe distress. 
So there's no reason why minority or majority will vote for a disastrous party like Congress. Uh, just deviating from the topic, sir, in fact, uh, on the ethics committee which invited Mawa Moitra for a statement recording, how do you see this that the opposition MP has been called, in fact, while sitting BJP MP uh, abused Mr. Danny Chali on the same floor of the House? Ethics committee, right? The name. Yeah. I think that's a joke, honestly. In this country right now, uh, the whole point about uh, who's ethical and who's unethical, you know, and the committee being called ethics committee, I would question the very ethic of it, you know, the very foundation of it, because anybody who questions the government is subjected to all kinds of scrutiny. Anybody who's with the government is basically going scot free. Everybody is looking at this in the country. So, yes, my sympathies are with those people who are being questioned, probed, uh, you know, basically made to suffer for in questioning fact, uh, the government. Arvind Kejriwal, too, yesterday in Madhya Pradesh, he said while addressing a rally that I won't, most likely, I won't even be outside to see the election results. ED might arrest me. Well, I can't. I'm how, not do you, a, how do you see this? That I'm not an astrologer, but uh, you know, looking at what's happening elsewhere in the country, it, it is possibly he is possibly right. So, just on the last segment, uh, much away from the politics, World Cup is on. Are you getting some time to see Absolutely the matches? Not. Unfortunately, not. I've just been following on my my Twitter feed, um, but otherwise, no. Absolutely. Because yesterday not. Siraj performed incredibly well against. No, unfortunately, Shilinka. I was working till 11:30 in the night, so I, I couldn't see a glimpse of it. Okay, but hopefully that you get time to watch on the <laughs> World Cup final if in. Jitne ke baad. Hindustan jitne ke baad aur BRS jitne ke baad. Well, uh, at that note, we'll end this conversation, sir. And good luck to you. And thank may you. the best party, best man or woman win. That would be us. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Thank you, speaking. Cheers. That was the working president, uh, Katie Rama Rao, speaking candidly to India today. Watch more for updates.